So with COVID-19 pandemic stay-at-home orders in place, people are unable to attend church services. So joining us via Skype now to discuss the importance of faith-based groups during this pandemic, including volunteering and other resources that may be available, is the Rock Church Pastor, Miles McPherson. Good to see you, Pastor. How are you? Nice to see you. We can't even, I can't even visit you guys anymore. I know. It's a shame. Well, hopefully soon you'll be back in the studio and we can see each other in person. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Rock Church, because it, it's kind of a non-traditional church, right? Well, yeah, we're a typical uh, non-denominational evangelical church. Uh, we have campuses all over San Diego. Um, and our focus is outreach. We do a lot of serving in the community every year, about $4 million worth of volunteer service every year. So when things like this happen, uh, we are uh, poised to ask, how can we help? And we've been given the privilege of uh, reassembling um, 300,000 N95 masks for the first responders. So we've been doing that this week. We'll be doing that for the next few weeks. And we're looking for volunteers if anyone wants to help. They can text the word INFO to 52525 or go to our website. But we're going to be doing that for the next several weeks in Point Loma, San Marcos, eventually East County and City Heights. Yeah, I remember, uh, I think Sasha Fu visited the church and you had some volunteers uh, helping put those masks together uh, with the rubber bands and the staplers. You guys were doing some good work with that. I know we have some video of that. Um, you've got the Sunday services now online as well, right? Yeah, Sunday services all around the country uh, are, are, are going to be broadcast online. That's been going great. We've had an increased attendance. All of my pastor friends have increased attendance of people watching. And we've, we've been doing that for years anyway, so it was really just not a very smooth transition for us. Ironically, unfortunately, a Good Friday, Easter, Palm Sunday will be online, which we've never done ever. But... Um, but we're ready to do it, and we'll have uh, all our services on Easter, sorry, Easter Sunday. Matter of fact, we're adding a couple. We'll have six services on Easter Sunday and two on uh, Good Friday. And I know you've got a number of different kind of support systems and different uh, websites and things. What are people asking you mostly for? Where are you helping people out? Probably the biggest thing is really praying for people. I mean, we've been calling the people in our church. We have all our staff and then also uh, team members, volunteers who are calling people, asking them how they're doing. A lot of people are scared, anxious, worried about their jobs, uh, eating, typical things that uh, we see on TV every day. So we're praying for those people and trying to direct them to places to get money from the government, wherever they can get, how, how we can help them get them food. Um, but our volunteer efforts are re really focused on the hospitals, with people making masks for uh, not not uh, medical grade, but making masks. We also have the 300,000. And, and by the way, we've been getting other masks uh, sent in to us because in addition to fixing those masks, we are collecting PPE. So if anybody out there has any PPEs, uh, you can, um, uh, I know you have the number on your website, but you can text info to 52525 or go to our website and the Office of Emergency Services will evaluate it. But so we've been collecting PPEs as well. Um, so we're, that's what we're focused on. We got to get the medical uh, people, the medical community, community the equipment they need. It's, it's just horrible that they don't have what they need. And they're literally putting their lives on the line for us. So we have to do everything we can to help them. Pastor Miles McPherson with The Rock Church. I'll just remind everybody they can go to sdrock.com and you've got the Sunday services 8, 10, noon, and then 6 p.m. Pastor, good to see you. Wishing you all the best. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.